It was a sad day, March 18th, when we told you about a local custom swimsuit shop forced to close for the first time in its history because of COVID-19. We followed Trish Crowder for years as a small business owner who has found different ways to beat the odds and then succeed. Well, now our Paula Tupman has an update that shows ingenuity and gumption to just keep going. Well, of course, we know that Michigan is a state of makers. We make the stuff that makes the world go round. What's incredible to see is how businesses are really adjusting to survive while helping others survive in the process. The sewing machines are buzzing again today at Custom Swimwear by Excellent Designs in Royal Oak. The company, which has made a name for itself selling custom swimwear, closed its doors March 18th when the travel industry screeched to a halt. That was a Thursday. On Friday morning, um, we, the girls created a mask, and by 2 o'clock, we took pictures of it, and my phone blew up, and we started taking orders. And As custom swimwear designers, this team had the chops and the creativity to repurpose fabric and sewing machines. The girls came in on their own uh, while we were closed, created the mask, and then sent me photos. Now, Trisha's group is not making PPE in terms of medical grade products, but they are making a hybrid of sorts for the general public to use. They're a mask with a filter. Um, they're cotton like on the inside, nylon like on the outside, and we have a removable filter so that you can wash the mask and wipe down the filter and then put it back in. Today, they are back in production making masks with a fashionable flair and functionality. Workers are protected and following safety distance protocols. I um, put an elastic in. We do elastic on top and on the bottom and it ties on the back. No one needs swimsuits. Everyone needs masks. And so the shop is selling them online for 10 bucks a piece. Four of her employees are rotating in and out, getting mostly just gas money enough to help out and escape boredom. Oh, I was happy. I have a teenager at home. I didn't want to sit at home with her all day. But um, it makes us feel good knowing that we are helping somebody or giving them a peace of mind that, you know, they're somewhat protected. But two workers have been able to be brought back for partial salaries. And it's keeping the lights on, the mortgage paid, and providing an essential service. Oh, and most importantly, proving that while COVID-19 might knock Michigan down, it can't knock us out. Paula Tutman, Local 4.